The Windows operating system contains comprehensive antivirus and anti-malware functionality in Microsoft Defender Antivirus. This is integrated into the operating system and installed and turned on by default. You'll find all of the information about Windows Defender Antivirus under the Windows Security app, specifically the section for Virus and Threat Protection. Depending on the version of Windows you're using, you could see different names for this application. It might be called Defender Antivirus, Windows Defender, or the name that's used currently, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. If you're looking for the Windows Security app, you can go to the search option within Windows 11, type Security, and it should be the option right at the top called Windows Security App. When this starts, you'll see a number of different features, including account protection, firewall and network protection, app and browser control, and others. But for our purposes in this video, we're going to talk about the virus and threat protection option at the upper left. If we click that, we'll get more details on Windows Defender Antivirus. For the vast majority of your work inside of Windows, you will want to leave this function enabled. You never want to turn off your antivirus or anti-malware capability because it is very easy for one of those malware apps to sneak into your system without you knowing it. This is something you might need to turn off if you're simply doing some temporary troubleshooting and you want to be sure that the problem you're having is not associated with Defender Antivirus. The default configuration for Defender Antivirus is to run with real-time protection. This means that it will monitor and scan for all file transfers that are occurring in and out of your operating system, and it will automatically identify any malicious software that may be contained within those documents. If for some reason you need to turn off this real-time protection, you'll find this under the Windows Security app under the Virus and Threat Protection settings. If you go to the Manage Settings section, you can enable and disable real-time protection. We're back on my Windows machine and under Virus and Threat Protection, I'm going to scroll down past the current threats and move down under Virus and Threat Protection settings. There's an option here for Manage Settings and we'll click on that. We can enable and disable real-time protection, cloud-delivered protection, automatic sample submission, tamper protection, control folder access, and define any exclusions. If you'd like to disable this function, let's scroll all the way back to the top where it says real-time protection. You can see it is set on by default. We will click that option and Windows will give us a user account control window telling us that it's about to make a major change to the operating system. And it asks, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? This would be the Windows Security app from Microsoft Windows. And we would like to, yes, make changes. And you can see that it has now turned off real-time protection. This also puts a notice on this page that says real-time protection is off, leaving your device vulnerable just so you're aware of the concerns associated with disabling that functionality. The process for re-enabling real-time protection is the same process. We go to the toggle that says off, we click it. It asks if we would like to make changes to our device, we would, and now real-time protection is back on. Many antivirus applications rely on a set of signatures to be able to identify this malicious software. So in order to catch the latest version of viruses and malware, we need the latest version of definitions. Normally, these definitions are downloaded automatically, but there may be times when you would like to force a check of those definitions to confirm that you really are running the latest version. You would find this option in Defender Antivirus under the Threat and Protection Updates section, and there is an option to check for updates. On the next page, you'll find a button that will allow you to check for updates. You can also manage the automatic update process from that screen as well. Back on our Windows configuration, we are in our Windows Security app under Virus and Threat Protection. I'm going to scroll down just a bit to where it says Virus and Threat Protection Updates, and I'm going to click the option for Protection Updates. From this window, it tells us about the latest updates that have been installed, the security intelligence version number, when that version was created, and when the last update was made. If we click Check for Updates, it will go out and check for the latest version of those updates. If there have been new definitions, it will download those definitions and install them into your currently running version. Now that our updates are successful, you can see there is a new version of the signatures that was installed and updated on this Windows 11 device. 